Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is the Astrological Update for Pisces for the week starting the 21st of May. Now, the sun is in your fourth house, making you want to cut you up at home and have everything just lovely, and you're feeling that you want gentleness and, and peace and one-to-one -one communication with family and friends, and you're feeling very loved up. Now, this is squaring Neptune in your sign. So it could be that you have this fantasy of an evening meal or a one-to-one -one time with your friend and it doesn't go according to plan. Something happens, life happens, it's not you know, as picture perfect as you paint it or, or that you've written it in your mind. The universe is saying surrender, let go of your ideas and allow yourself to experience the moment with that person and it could lead to something fantastic and fabulous. You've got to trust old Neptune in your sign. It's here to bring you messages and joyful ones. You know, sometimes you are very sensitive and very imaginative. And if you've planned an evening and, you, and you've lit the candles and someone comes in, they don't even notice, they just chuck their coat over the chair and turn the TV on, you can get very offended and hurt because you're sensitive. Let it go this week because there's magic in accepting how other people are. And understanding that it's not personal, Neptune wants you to transform and to know that everything has a reason and a purpose. Now, the good news this week is Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, but also the planet of genius is in your second house. And so there's a part of you that this week could get a gift from the universe, which makes you feel more secure or it's financially fabulous, something very, very good. And that's sextiling sun and mercury in your fourth house. So it all comes around at the end of the week, whatever it, that closeness was that you wanted at the beginning of the week that maybe didn't turn out, you know, at the end of the week, boom, maybe something even better than you can ever possibly imagine. You know, that's the secret to magic. People often ask me about cosmic ordering, law of attraction, quantum creating. You know, and they say, well, should I write down an exact list of the man or woman that I want? Should I write an exact list of my dream? And I always say, yes, but you, I suggest that you say to the universe, bring me what I desire or something even better than I could possibly imagine. Because oftentimes that's where the magic is. If we can't conceive of something because it's so fabulous or it's beyond our expectation, we can't think about it to create it. So you've got to have a little bit of faith that there are things out there even better than we can possibly know. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.